Are we live? I think we might be. Surprise, surprise. Happy Tuesday or whatever day you're into where you are. I'm into a Tuesday. I'm a little groggy. I've been staying up late painting, which is nice, except for in the mornings when I'm like, nine o'clock, what? Anyway, as usual, I'm here to do a quick body check. It's a little chilly this morning. And I invite you to join me if you feel like it, to whatever degree you feel like it. Start with a little just ah, free arm spinning, relaxing the spine and shoulders and arms and hands and hips and legs. Blah, do a little shaking it off. Maybe it's warm enough to take off the sweater vest. I don't know. Let's see. Yes, I've got the morning hair going on. It's a good time to remind you, you don't need a special outfit or a special out hairdo or a special hand-built dome or a special set of moves <sighs> to take a deep breath and let go of some stress. Check in with your body. Give yourself a little playful movement. A little stretching, a little strengthening. All that said, some outfits are better than others for stretching and strengthening in. This one's this one's in the middle somehow, somewhere. Not very stretchy. That's okay. I got I got my not very stretchy brain on to match, so it's a good coordinated effort. Yes, I'm still silly, in case you were worried. No need to worry. I'm going to head forward from the hips, unlocking the knees with a relatively flat back. Come all the way down to hang here from the hips. Ah. Spend a breath or so, just letting go. Do a little wiggle jiggle down here. And I'm going to roll up nice and slow, just checking in with the spine. Let's swing the arms back, lifting the chest, coming into a little bit of a counter stretch. And then again, folding down with a relatively flat back. Past the waist to the hips. I've got a lot of stiff in me today. Let's give myself a hug, pulling up in the abdomen, up in the pelvic floor, left elbow over right, pulling these shoulder blades apart. Just give it a nice hug, squeezing the shoulders, rounding the spine, and then releasing all that again from the hips. <sighs> and then this time, right elbow over left again, pulling back in the abdomen, up in the pelvic floor, Pulling these shoulder blades apart, just give myself a nice hug, rounding the spine, and then come down from the hips again. Ooh. Over to the left a little bit for a little gentle twist, and over to the right, and then back to center. Spin the knees, swing the arms back, come again into that counter stretch. Lifting the chest, lifting the eyes, lifting the arms, and then coming back to central, neutral, center. Got a lot of springtime congestion coming up. I think the junipers are blooming. Stuff is starting to burst open. It's all spring-like. Spring, springing open. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? Looks like we might get a little moisture today for a change. Uh, I'm going to do some big and little exploration. Just taking it easy today. Let's do big, taking up space, spreading the fingers, coming into a wide stance. Just seeing how much space I can get into. And then I'm going to come down into a little ball. See how little space I can get into. Just condensed, contracting, rounding, consolidating, tensing everything up, and then again expanding, getting big, 
checking out all the space, seeing how much space I can get into to uh, some diagonals, <sighs> and then coming back down again into a condensed ball, rounding the spine, tucking the chin, clenching the fingers and the toes and the pelvic floor. Just getting small, and then again, one more time, big, taking up space, checking out the diagonals, seeing how much space I can get into. One more time, condensed. Mm. Coming into a small ball, imagining myself in a little box. Mmm. Now lift the hips, putting the hands on the floor. Just hang here and then I'm going to roll up again. One vertebrae on the next, stacking on the next. Shake that out a bit. Shake it to the left and shake it to the right. I hope you're remembering to let go of yesterday like it was the past. I'm going to step back into a deeper lunge with the left foot. Squaring these hips, pushing into that back heel, tipping the tailbone under, and then pushing onto that diagonal. A little wobbly this morning, that's okay. I'm just exploring that stretch. Let's come all the way down into a deeper lunge, putting the both hands on either side of that front leg, and then straightening that leg, folding the body, the upper body over the lower body, aiming my chin for my toes. <sighs> and then bringing that front foot back to meet the back foot, pressing through the palms, through the spine, tipping the tailbone, pressing into those heels. <sighs> pressing the heart toward the earth. And then I'm going to Swing this upper body forward, scooching those toes back, keeping the legs together, lifting the chest and the eyes, letting the belly drop. Mm, and then lifting the hips again, pushing back through the palms, through the spine, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head, pushing into those heels. Let's bend the right knee, pushing into the left heel a little more. Bend the left, push it into the right. And again, push it into the left heel. Push it into the right heel. Pushing into both heels, pressing the heart toward the earth, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head. Ah. Let's walk these feet forward toward the hand, keeping the hands on the ground. Walking up into a forward fold. And release it again from the hips, just hanging here. Mm. Let's bend the knees, swing the arms back, come into that counter stretch again. I step out of the dome just a little bit, lifting the chest, lifting the eyes, lifting the arms, pushing the hips forward. <sighs> and then coming back to neutral. Step back with the right foot into a nice moderate lunge, squaring the hips, tipping the tailbone under, pressing into that back heel. Mm. And then lifting the arms, making sure not to crunch up in the shoulders, looking for that diagonal line. Pressing into that back heel, feeling that energetic diagonal out the fingertips, through the spine. Mm. Still working to square those hips to those parallel feet. And then I'm going to bring these arms down, sliding that back foot out a little bit more into a nice deep lunge. Enjoying that lunge for a breath or so. Mm. And then straightening that front leg, draping the upper body over the lower body. Still pressing into that back heel. Enjoying a nice forward fold over that left leg, aiming my chin for my toes. Ooh. 
And then bringing weight onto my hands. I'm going to bring that front foot back to meet the back foot. Pressing through the palms, through the spine, tipping the tailbone, pressing into those heels. Let's do a little hip opening. I'm going to bring weight onto the right foot and lift that left foot, keeping the hip facing the ground as opposed to open at first, just exploring that stretch. I've got some dome behind me to push into and then alternately exploring that open hip feeling. You can let that leg fold over, looking over the right shoulder for some toe confirmation. Let's do a little ankle rotation on that side and the other way. And then closing that hip again, pushing through the spine into that long leg, setting that leg back down. Let's bring weight onto the left and bring that right foot up first with the closed hip, exploring that line as much as I can with the dome back there. I have to step out here with my hands and then opening the hips, letting that foot Fall over and looking past my left shoulder for confirmation of toes. There they are. I can imagine them in the boot doing their sporadic circle. Closing the hip again, facing the hip down toward the ground, lifting that leg, pressing through that long leg, and then bringing that back down. Pressing through both palms, through the spine, into both heels. Let's walk the feet forward again. Hanging here in a forward fold, hanging from the hips. <sighs> so letting the spine unwind a little bit more. Let's roll up again. Pushing through the heels, through the spine. Stacking one vertebrae on the next. <sighs> Checking it out. Mm. Let's do a little hip sway, pushing into each hip. Just getting a nice stretch through the hip socket. I am stiff this morning. <laughs> and not in a good way, as they say. <laughs> Bring arms behind back, pressing palms, rolling the shoulder blades up together, rolling elbows together. Pulling down with those fingers, and a nice stretch through the chest, through the belly, through the back, and then folding forward with a relatively flat back, making sure not to lock those knees, and bring those hands with me for an extra stretch through the chest, through the shoulders. Whew. We've got some ka-chunks in there, taking it nice and slow. Exploring that Triceratops line. <sighs> ah. And then pushing up through the heels with a relatively flat back again. Leading with those fingers, coming back into that counter stretch. Pulling down with the fingertips. Rounding the spine into a counter stretch. And then back to neutral. I'll shake that out. Mmm. Do just a little breathing in. <sighs> Stepping back to the right and letting go. Breathing in, circling, and <sighs> letting go to the left. Don't forget to take care of yourself, whatever else you're doing. I recommend trying holding your breath and scowling. Just kidding. It actually feels better if you breathe and smile. But you can try scowling and holding your breath and let me know how that works out for you. Maybe you'll be the first human in human history to thrive while scowling and holding your breath. You never know. It could happen. <laughs>